Hey guys, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how I achieved this beautiful golden goddess look for the summer. It is a beautiful look to rock for all the brown skin tone ladies out there. And I've also included some tips and tricks on how we can stay true to our skin tone. So here I am, all bare face and ready to go. I'm feeling myself because I just curled my hair, heatless curls, baby. I did a whole hydration routine and it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna start off with this skin oil therapy from Palmer's that's good for hydration and also helps with the evening out skin tone and taking care of scars or blemishes. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite makeup primer at the moment. This is in a shade that is very close to my skin tone. I'm gonna dab this all over to give me a very fine base to start with. Since we're doing a glowy, bronzy, golden makeup and our skin is gonna glow through that foundation, so I'm gonna start off the base with something that has a little bit of tint and a little bit of illumination so it can help me achieve that look. Next, I'm using a little bit of a darker shade to do the bronzing on the side. So here I am just putting it in the areas that I would usually contour. I'm going in with my favorite palette for contour and highlight. This is a custom palette from Inglot and I'm using a tone that is good for me. I'm a warm under skin tone. I'm gonna be using colors that will complement my undertone. While I do my contouring, we're gonna take a break and talk about how to find the perfect shade for your skin tone. Firstly, just to let you know, you will never find the perfect shade for your foundation exactly like your skin tone, but good news is we can get very, very close by doing these tips and tricks. You can find something very close to your shade by mixing and matching. Because during the summer we tend to get a little darker and warmer so you might need to pick up two different shades one for the winter one for the summer but anyway number one go to the store bare face yes ladies you can easily swatch your shade you wouldn't have to do it on your hand do it on your face because the hand might be a different color to your face Number three, swatch on a good amount on your face. Instead of doing like a thin layer and then blending it out like how they do it at the store, the helpers there, you go on ahead and slap on appropriate amount on the side of your face and then check how is it gonna look when you're going to pile on that foundation and how is it gonna look when you're gonna blend it. Number three, swatch on a good amount on your face. Instead of doing like a thin layer and then blending it out like how they do it at the store, the helpers there, you go on ahead and slap on appropriate amount on the side of your face and then check how is it gonna look when you're going to pile on that foundation and how is it gonna look when you're gonna blend it. Number four, look for undertone that goes with your skin tone, cool or warm or neutral. And this is very important to know our undertones is what will help us to get that shade for foundation, bronzer, um, contour palette, whatever we look for, the undertone is important. So for brown skin tone, a range of warm colors and warm undertones really work, but there are ladies out there that have a cool undertone or a neutral undertone even though they are tan skin interesting right now let's talk about how we're going to find out what undertone we are skin color is different than the undertone keep that in mind to figure out your skin tone 
your undertone which could be any of the cool warm or neutral you can do these simple steps so number one we're gonna do the easiest test to find out your undertone which is the vein test look at the veins on your wrist another tip is doing the visual test which you can see for yourself this one you put on a hot pink lipstick on one side and a bright orange on the other number three is a step you can do at home which is a swatch test and uh, I'm gonna put up the slide next you can pause and look at it for yourself you just have to compare your skin to the swatch hold it up and see what looks good with your complexion I usually stick to every product that I buy for my face and my skin to have undertones that are warm and I like my skin to look nice and golden during the summer that's why the yellow undertone in my foundation helps my yellow undertone in my skin combined together it just makes it pop honey and right now I'm using a concealer again a yellow tone concealer very close to my shade this is nothing to highlight and not a shade lighter this look does not contain all of that because we're staying true to that golden skin tone for the summer and I'm just going to blend everything in with this precise brush next up I'm going in with blush and I'm doing a cream that is in the orange tone to give me that summer look and I'm also gonna go in with highlight and I'm gonna use two shades one a little lighter to pop the inside of my cheeks and the top of my nose This is a darker tone highlighter which I'm going to do right above here and here and on the bridge of my nose. This is more of a bronzy highlight to make all of that golden pop happen. Now this is the best part. I'm going to blend everything in with my shade of foundation for the summer and it's my favorite I actually use this all year round sometimes when I want to make myself look this healthy golden glow here I'm using today one of my favorite palettes for the summer it's got all these beautiful colors in it that really makes my skin tone pop and it's in warm undertones First things first, I'm gonna prime my eye with a white liner. It's actually a white kahel type pasty thing that I like to use. It helps me prime my eyelid and then it's gonna make that color pop. Whatever color you put on top of this white is gonna pop. And then I'm gonna go in with my first shade of this gold bronze mix right in the inner corner of my eye just like that I'm gonna be using a couple of different shades today to make this eye makeup very very how do you say create a lot of depth in my eye makeup without making it look too much now the second shade is a bronzy shade that I'm going in with for the top of my lids right in the middle yes At the end I'm gonna use a dark matte shade to close the end of my eyes with it so I'm just creating like a triangle there it's looking pretty good now this brush has a slight angle I'm gonna do the bottom lids I'm gonna use the same shade for the outer corners under my eyelids now I'm going in with a fluffy brush this is to do 
the transition colors I'm gonna start off transitioning these colors by blending all of them in my eye socket and the colors for the transition as well I've kept it really warm and I've done a couple of colors in the eye socket so that it looks well blended out I'm going in with my contour palette and an angled brush and using the same contour color under my eyes it's going to give it so much depth as you can see already my eye looks like a smoky bronze look and now I'm lining the bottom of my eyes with white eyeliner white kahal I was too lazy to get up and go get my brown pencil to do the under eyes so I just did this trick where I used the white kahal and then I put in the brown on top brown eyeshadow anyway back to doing the under eyes I'm using the darker shade of my contour palette to do the bottom and then I'm gonna do a little bit of that same eyeshadow I put in the middle of my top lid on my nose and on my cupid's bow this is just going to make everything look evened out when people look at my face all the shades are gonna match now I'm gonna reach in for my contour palette again and it has this yellow powder that's matte this palette is completely customized to my own skin tone and I'm gonna use this as a setting powder under my eye this precision with the brush and the blending fluffy lightly blending will really help make it look so flawless and I'm gonna snatch the side of my nose by making it lighter all the way up to the top and I'm gonna also put in this color on all the places where I concealed in with my angled brush and I'm gonna finish off contouring with the same color that I contoured underneath and this time it's just the finishing off and I'm gonna use a bronzer as well it's an orangey tone to finish off all the blending <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna line my lips with this lip liner that is like a maroon wine color and I'm gonna stay true to the shape of my top lip creating an M and then I'm also gonna do this 3D effect that I like to do I'm gonna line the bottom and then I'm gonna do the keyhole of my lip with the same wine dark red shade it's like a grapey winey shade and then I'm gonna go in with this lipstick I'll note the shade down in my comments Ooh, I just dabbed it on and it's looking pretty good as you can see my skin is popping it's a healthy glow it's golden I'm feeling myself that's about it I am done with this look it was pretty easy it was so much fun to do and I really really appreciate my brown skin tone and I'm so 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 proud of it it's one thing that I love about myself on the top of the list is my beautiful brown skin I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe comment like and share sharing is caring 